pretty good. And living in Florida too. How about that? Um, and uh, I mean, his first big hire, of course, is T-Will, which is another big thing. Uh, Jordan, I want to know what you think about it. I think it was a great move. I mean, that's no surprise to anybody who's heard me. Uh, what do you think, Jordan? I agree. I think that, you know, one, I think Gus Landon at UCF, if he was going to coach, you know, I was kind of convinced he was going to take a year off. And based on what Gus was saying at his intro press conference, that's what he was going to do. He was going to take a year off. Maybe do TV, which I would have loved to have seen what was <laughs> on, on TV every Saturday would have looked like. But that UCF job came open. And I'll be honest, you can make an argument outside of Auburn that that might have been the best job that opened this cycle. It, it was a really good, certainly the best group of five job that opened. Um, but he pounced on it, and I think it could work out well for Gus there. But I think hiring Travis Williams – I mean, Justin, we talked about it wasn't a crazy idea for Travis Williams to be the head coach at Auburn. <laughs> yeah. for, I mean, to me, for him to be hired as the defensive coordinator at UCF1, I think that's a big step in the right direction for T. Will for his career. You know, he was a co defensive coordinator at Auburn, but Kevin Still was obviously the, the primary defensive coordinator. So it's a step forward with a really good UCF team. I think they are walking into a good situation. With UCF in the AAC, they got to deal with teams like Cincinnati, so it won't be, you know, it won't be easy. But but they walk in a lot of talent, uh, and I think it works that those guys have recruited Florida and, and the Southeast a lot. So, you know, the more I've thought about it, I think it works out well um, for Gus and for T. Will, and, and interested to see what it looks like the next few years. Really interested to see what that offense looks like because you know, that's not exactly what Gus is known for isn't exactly what UCF has been doing the last few years and what's made him successful. But I mean, Gus has got a track record and, and he's got a track record in the group of five when he was offensive coordinator at Tulsa. And even though it was just one year at Arkansas state, they were really, really good at Arkansas state. So I think as far as landing spots for Gus, if he was going to coach, I think it's a perfect landing spot. And I think it's going to be really fun to see what he's able to do there. And if he can, you know, get UCF to that upper echelon that he really talked about a lot in the intro press conference on Monday. I'll tell you what's interesting about T-Will um, is that with Gus, you know, Gus is, I mean, he's hands off on defense. Obviously, all his players love him, including the defensive guys. Uh, you can, you know, you could see the reaction when, when he was fired. You know, even the defensive guys love Gus. But, like, as far as day-to-day -day practice, practice down-to-down, -down, I mean – you know, he, he's pretty hands off on defense. You know, it's not like it's not like T. Will's a defensive coordinator for a Jeremy Pruitt or somebody like that. He's going to run that thing. That's going to be his deal. So, I mean, that's a huge I feel like that's a huge step for him um, and a huge proving ground for T. Will, who, you know, I thought was one of the rising coaches in the SEC. So um, I think it's pretty interesting because, you know, it's like you have a defensive coordinator job and then that's almost a, a super D.C. because you have a you have an offensive minded coach. It's almost more important at a, at a place where you have an offensive-minded head coach who also said he's calling the plays. So he'll be as in the weeds as ever on offense. So, I mean, yeah, but that's um, – I'm going to be super interested in, in how T. Will does. But, I mean, I, I think he's up for the challenge. Um, but, yeah, I think he could turn into – you know, I think it's a great move for him in his career because he's a he could be a star. He could be a rising star in coaching. And I think to the point you made, because Justin, we had kind of wondered off the podcast if, you know, a reunion with Gus is something he wanted. Maybe he wanted to go kind of forge his own path. But I think it makes sense in the thing you just said, that he knows that Gus is not going to be hands-on with the defense. If, you know, if T. Will is given the offer, hey, we want you to come be defensive coordinator, like you said, he's running the defense. It will be his defense. It won't be, and you know, the defense in his name alone. Right. Um, so yeah. And that's not that. necessarily not necessarily an indictment on Gus, what we're talking about, but sometimes it's better to go prove yourself somewhere else, go prove yourself with other people, show that you can do it on your own a little bit. Um, but but yeah, I, I'm with you. The opportunity is a little too much. You know, what I mean, you, you, you fear maybe being typecast, I guess, with with your coach and staying in that coaching tree. But that the opportunity is too great. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah, that's a great move for him. And I want to hit on, too, the, the point you made about Gus calling the offense. I mean, I think that this – I think that's the perfect way for him to handle this. If he wants to take this as a chance to prove that what he does works, he's yeah. going to do it on his terms. And you could tell that by what he talked about in his intro press conference. Basically, I'm calling the plays, and I'm calling the plays the rest of my career. You know, yeah. he kind of gotten away from that. And, you know, we had seen him you know, divvy back to where he was calling plays at Auburn, then he hired Chad Morris. He's going to let Chad call it. 
I think that's the right decision as far as Gus's career is concerned. It's like, if, if we're going to do it, it's going to be on my terms and we're going to see how it plays out. 